Howdy everybody, Big Fatty Plus, and welcome back to the Big Man Plays. Clock Tower 2. Not going to let you escape. You're going to the die here. Trouble within. I forgot that I didn't say for that thing. So what I have I see done? Scene again. Shannon, stop. We last left off. A we... joke. Calling my name. We ran away. Did you ever have the right to call me by my name? It was a short episode due you to You abandoned me. Issues. When I was just a little girl. Also, because it's, the game is so loud in my ear, it's, it feels like I'm being interrupted. Even though it won't sound like that in the uh, the video. But yes, uh, you must. It's a short someone. episode due to family kill me. issues. So uh, what good is there in getting revenge against Alyssa? I should have saved while I was standing in the room. Probably. Maybe you're right, but there oh. must be a better way. Yeah, and then she makes a sap decision here to uh, swallow something that kills her. Probably cyanide. <gasps> it's fast acting. Very fast acting. The foolish girl. Who is that? My daughter. Yeah, why don't you, um, huh? explain that, which we, he won't, because, uh, he won't. So, uh, yeah, we're going to, uh, make him explain. <sighs> First, I'm going to save. This will be the final episode, by the way, in case you're wondering. And you're probably wondering... What was wrong with that last episode? Well, the last, ep the last episode you probably just saw, I had to play through the entire game to see. Now, you're not going to see that ending unlocked here, because I'm actually recording this straight from before, the short episode. Actually, that's all I was saying when last off we ran away. Because to me, that's what just happened. I still have to go through and record the other ending, because it's a pain. But anyway, let's talk to Corey. Detective. My investigation's over. I just found Tate's body. There's no sign that the number of zombies is decreasing, and it's time to get out of here. Are you going to try to escape? The zombies will get us and eat us if we stay here like this. Let's try to get out of here together. No. We have to finish this. You sure? I just can't run away and leave things like this. Nope. So uh, I hope you're going to stay around and uh, attempt to fight. We're going to need somebody. <sighs> really? Frickin' really? <sighs> Is there any... Wait. Oh, crap. I mean, I'm checking. <sighs> crap. And I'd rather not switch the baits because I'm currently very hurt right now, so. <sighs> Walkthrough, you didn't mention there'd be zombies down here past that point. Thank you. You didn't mention that. You could have. You honestly could have. You could have mentioned that. But whatever. It's whatever. <laughs> so well, I'm going to go deal with the zombie and I will be right back. <laughs> Finally! God freaking dang, it's annoying as hell. What? You kidding me?! Every All right, we're heading back. That was annoying. That was very annoying. I killed one zombie with a chair. I wanted to go into the next room and see another zombie just suddenly pop up. That is... I'm like... Oh, my God. 
thank you. Hey, it's just this this whole random crap is just dumb. But I'm on to the final ending, like the best ending. I just gotta get there. I mean, it's a shorter, slightly shorter trip to, uh, the fire extinguisher, but still, the fact that I have to is annoying. And I, I would love to know where that portly body came from, to be honest. I really would like to know where it came from. Okay, is there only one door? Okay. This whole foundation looks like it's cracking, which does not please me to the structural integrity of this building. I mean, the fact that it looks like that makes me think it's just cracking a moment. Uh, well, this is new. Why is it? Why does this look like a? Why does this look like a Japanese uh, shrine or a soba noodle shop? Oh, well, this is a problem. I envied you. Your what? brilliant, your wealthy family. Everyone must die. You've got crazy. Talking to you won't do any good. Obviously. Sorry. How rude of me to forget, since I was the one who made you crazy. What? What? Father. Alyssa, you are. You are not my daughter. Oh, really? You're the daughter of George Maxwell. What? Well, that's interesting. I was jealous of this man. So to make him fall, I dug you up from the Maxwell's grave. So what? What? What, what are you talking about, Father? I. What? I don't understand. You were the cursed child of the Maxwell family. The daughter with the cruel alter ego. The cursed daughter born into the Maxwell family every few generations. Uh... What? Everyone must die. No! Ah! Uh -uh. Nah! No! Oh. And he shot him. But I... I loved you as if you were my own daughter. I never thought of you as a tool to harm anyone. So I... So you what? So I infected the statue with bacteria. To make him go crazy. Father! Goodbye, Alyssa. Hurry and leave. This building is going to blow up. What? Wait, wait, what? And then he drops. Wait, father. Oh, he's still alive. Everyone must die. Oh, crap. Uh. I, I mean, let's do that again. I didn't see it coming. Ah, <laughs> oh, crap. Gotta do the whole thing again. <laughs> I envied you. Wait, father. Everyone. No, not this die. time, Diff! Not today! You're not my father. Lie down. Shotgun. Is this by all the bullet holes that just hit him? What? What? Excuse? Okay, what? This is the beginning. Look at this. It's a live baby. Get him with this. 
Do you know what you're doing? Digging up the Maxwell grave? You think the curse is real? It's, it's pure absurdity. The curse of the Maxwells is just an old wives' tale. Okay. So that was the uncle and... Uh... Alan. Except it wasn't a wives' tale. Although burying the baby alive is I... kind of cruel. It's hard, isn't it? They did it to themselves. Everyone's didn't dead, they? and it's all my fault. Maybe so. It would have been better if I had died. I'm not going to die. It's not that you've died there once already, you know. Well, I guess I've got to get rid of those zombies. What? It's not going to be easy. What? A what? A what? Okay. Yes, this is the ending. The actual true ending. And I still have no clue as to what happened. Okay, well, let me see if I can piece together. Let's see. She is a cursed daughter that has the cruel alter ego. So the Maxwells buried her alive, mind you, in order to stop it, I guess. Or stop her from living. But Alan, to get back at George Maxwell, whom we have no idea whom the hell he is besides being her father, and for some reason connected to that yellow statue, Dunk him, dunk her up to get back at him, except he grew to care for her. And then suddenly the curse comes up, Maxwell starts walking around killing people, he infects a statue <clears throat> with a cerebral toxin that somehow involves... I have no idea. The, unlike the first game, where you knew what was going on and how it was going on to an extent, this game, the plot, this game beca became a, a, an almost UA Bowl directed sci-fi original in terms of the story. Nothing's connected, nothing makes sense, and I'm sitting here completely confused. So this is where I tell you what I thought of the game. Let's start with the graphics. The graphics are a slight step up from the first one. I say slight in that um, the faces to me look a little better animated and the cutscenes of what there were looked a little better made. Not by much, mind you. It's a small step, like baby step, but still slightly bigger. The the first two area, the first area, say, hey, nice, nice looking house. The hospital looked okay, and then the, the whole research facility looked drab as hell. Oh, we're going into sales too. Okay, great. The whole hospital seemed very drab, and the whole well, no, I mean the research area seemed very drab and samey, which made it very annoying to navigate the place. It's like they just got lazy at the end and said to hell with it. So, in terms of the graphical quality of the levels themselves, they took a hit near the end. The... the I'm leaving the story for last, by the way. Yeah, so. The sound? The sound wasn't too bad. I'm not counting the glitches, because this, this is an issue of the of the ISO probably but the sound was fine the, the, the voice actors seemed decent I think the voice actors in the first game did a better performance than these ones but it was decent um, the music a couple of the tracks are catchy like this one I like um, but overall there was no real musical theme to the game so it kind of went eh. um, so overall, the music was the music and the sound was okay, not great, but okay. Music was better than one, but the voice acting in one was better. The controls, being again, you took a point-and-click game and put it on the PlayStation with a controller and no, no optional PS mouse if there was one input. Again, makes the game annoying to play, especially when you have to make snap 
quick decisions like, you know, grabbing your key cards and putting them in the thing. It made it annoying. The gameplay combined with that made it even more frustrating because if you didn't click it quick enough and the enemy showed up, well then the character is just going to stand like an idiot because, oh, there's an enemy room. You can't, you can't, uh, interact with that particular thing. So it made it very annoying. The, so the controls... Again, I, I gave it against... I, I, I gave it marks against the game in the first one. I'm going to do the same here. Don't do console point-and-click games where you have to control a mouse with the, with the controller. Get a mouse. Or make, or make it where you can control the character directly and just hit buttons. Gameplay. No. The gameplay, I think, was, was worse than the first game. The first game, you only had to deal with the Scissor Man occasionally appearing, and there was more than enough options. Limited options, mind you, but more than enough to deal with them and get your stuff done and get out. This one. It was great that you had unlimited options to take out the enemies, but the f Yeah, ending rank A. A for awesome, yes. But the fact that you had to abuse those options because the enemies kept reappearing was very frustrating. My... God! So yes, the, 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 the gameplay is, it, to me, far worse than the first game. Far worse. I, 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 and now in the story, oh, the story is, no. The story is basically a sci-fi original level of quality trying to shoehorn its way into the clock tower arcing narrative. I mean, this, this, and for the most part, this thing has no... Yeah, we have options here. I'll do that as in a special, uh... uh, bonus episode. But... And I still have... We, this, uh, by the way, the ending A is the only one you can actually watch again. All the others, including this one, which by the time you... you know, I've, I've already unlocked it, mind you. Just in another episode. Um, or I will, when I record it, as soon as I go through the whole game again. And I still need to go through and get all the other hints. But, uh... Yeah, the story was a sci-fi original, shoehorning its way into the game, into the Clock Tower narrative, and not ha not having any any fracking connections to the Barrows family or anything in the whole Clock Tower fracking universe. There is no connection. I mean, I'm sure with what the storyline of Clock Tower 3 is, maybe, maybe you can connect it somehow? We'll see when I do 3 at some point. But as it stands, this has no connection. This is literally a side story that was just slapped into, you know, like, like uh, that one Metal Gear Solid game. <laughs> but it basically was just kind of shoehorned into the Clock Tower uh, universe and makes no sense. Which, you know, it, it, this, it, this is what sets me. This, combined with the gameplay. The story combined with the gameplay. And in total, this game is worse than the first game. Yes, it was longer, but it was worse. The music was better, to me, in some parts. I liked some of the extra tracks, but you know, that's just me. I still would have liked some kind, but I still would have liked some kind of connection to the first game, the first Clock Tower. Because, you know, Clock Tower the first fear on the SNES, and then Clock Tower for the PlayStation. Connected. They connected. They had a direct story relation. This one has no direct story relation with probably any of them. I'm going to check to be sure. The text will more than kindly say so if I ever find any. Uh, reference, but this game was obviously, in my opinion, because I played all the Clock Towers, 
this game is the worst entry in the series. If you're looking to complete the series, just to have it as a collection standpoint, look for it cheap, or through other means. I'm not going to say other means. Uh, I'm not going to, you know, say what means. You know what I'm talking about. If you manage to find the actual disc, which my little sister owns, not the case, mind you. She tossed the case, put it all into this big binder of crap. Um, but the um, the game itself, if you want a collection standpoint and you can find it cheaply, go ahead. But I would not recommend this even at full price. Or even any price. H higher than maybe ten bucks. I, I couldn't. I just can't. This game... <sighs> but... I finished it. Um... As far as, you know, you'll, you've already seen the other ending me go through and... I've already completed got the last ending there. But... As far as that concern... And the... Extra... And this mode, the, the question mark mode, which I will unlock, as well as seeing the time attack mode, you'll see that in the bonus episode. But, until the bonus episode, and whatever else I do, this is Big Fatty Plus, Cyanar. And if you are born and with a cruel alter ego, first thing you should ask is if you're part of a cursed family, and if, uh, maybe your your real parents are insane. And, uh, if so, here, here's, a, here's a smart thing. Move. Move away from everyone. Just, just go away from everyone. Don't worry about anything. Just like, oh, I'm cursed. Let me move away from people. Because otherwise you're going to get involved in this stupidity. And then you're going to come out wondering, you know, I could have just shot myself and saved myself a whole lot of trouble. I'm not advocating for suicide. No, don't, don't go there. But I'm just all I'm saying. 